Good afternoon, I am Tracy Spence with your newscast. This newscast is brought to you courtesy of BioLife Energy Systems. Come join the live-in. Call them at 800-875-5433. USA Credit Repair, the key to beautiful credit. You may call them at 800-786-1330. And cruising with the case handler, a show on personal injury and immigration weekdays 8.30 a.m. On Saturdays, 7 p.m. and 12 noon on Sundays. Now for the news in details. Jamaica's Ministry of Education says independent schools that are holding face-to-face classes are not in violation of its policy on remote learning. Many of these institutions have been holding in-person classes since September. Public schools are, however, required to employ distance learning with the government providing support through tablets, audiovisual forums, and the delivery of hard copy printed materials. In a statement, the Education Ministry stated that independent schools received letters from the Ministry of Health and Wellness indicating that they have met the standards for certification. It added that the reopening of these schools are on the basis of these letters is not a violation of its remote learning advisory. It was noted that the Disaster Risk Management Act allows for in-person instruction. The ministry says consultations with representatives of independent schools were held on Monday and on Wednesday, where members got an opportunity to share with Portfolio Minister Favel Williams the challenges and uniqueness of their operations. The United States Coast Guard says it has collaborated with partner nations in halting more than 4,000 pounds of cocaine during September, worth almost U.S. $73 million throughout the Caribbean. The U.S. Coast Guard said these interdictions were a direct result of the partnerships with crew aboard Dutch, British and U.S. naval ships with embarked Coast Guard law enforcement detachment boarding teams working jointly with the Miami-based U.S. Sovereign Command and other U.S. Department of Defense agencies to detect and interdict illegal drugs and stop the flow of drugs throughout the Caribbean. Commander of 7th Coast Guard District, Rear Admiral Eric C. Jones, said the Coast Guard Law Enforcement Detachment, or LEDTS, are highly specialized and play a vital role in the fight against illicit drug trafficking in the maritime domain. The U.S. Coast Guard said its Western Hemisphere strategy assigns three specific priorities of combating networks, securing borders, and safeguarding commerce. Meanwhile, the Inter-American Development Bank, IDB, has approved a U.S. $80 million contingent loan to help Barbados significantly strengthen its financial risk management of natural disasters and extreme climate events. The Washington-based financial institution said that the funds will enable Barbados to provide a stable, cost-effective, and a quick access instrument to cover immediate extraordinary public expenditures during emergencies caused by severe or catastrophic natural disasters. The IDB noted that Barbados, as most small island development states, sits, is vulnerable to severe natural disasters and climate change. It also said that more than half of Barbadian residents live in zones of high risk from natural hazards and that about 45th of the country's gross domestic product is generated in exposed areas. In sports, Jamaica's Racing Commission JRC Chairman Clovis Metcalf said he is concerned about the recent falls of a number of apprentice jockeys at Caymanus Park. Apprentice jockeys Uville Pinnock and Tevin Foster suffered injuries after falling from their mounts in August and September, respectively. Pinnock has since returned to the saddle, while Foster is sidelined with a shoulder and back injury. Metcalf said this has been a major concern for the GRC, and they will be taking steps to ensure that they protect and educate jockeys about the dangers of the track. And that is it for the news. This newscast came to you courtesy of BioLife Energy Systems. Come join the live-in. Call them at 800-875-5433. USA Credit Repair, the key to beautiful credit. You may call them at 800-786-1330. And cruising with the case handler, a show on personal injury and immigration weekdays 8.30 a.m. on Saturdays 7 p.m. and 12 noon on Sundays. On behalf of the news and production team, I am Tracy Spence. Do have a good afternoon.